So far, these are the things that we have covered, and these are the things that you're going to need to know for your test Friday. So I'm going to try to just keep going over these every day until Friday to help you remember. Okay, we've talked about the midpoint formula, which is the average between two points, right? If I asked you to average a test or find your test average, what would you do? You'd add and then divide by the number of however many there are, right? Okay, so if we're looking for the middle of two points, we're going to add the coordinates and divide by two because there's two points. We add our x's, divide by two. We add our y's, divide by two. The distance formula we said is derived from what theorem? The Pythagorean theorem. The distance helps us to find out how far it is between two points. The formula for distance is the square root of x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. Now, does that mean that the radical just eliminates the two little squares? No. You have to do all that math and get a final answer before you take the square root. That's the very last step that you do. We also had equations for parabolas. We had an equation here where it was y equals, and this type of parabola opened how? Up Either up or down, depending on the sign of A. If A was positive, it was opening up. If A was negative, it was opening down. Then we had the parabola where it's x equals, which either opens to the left or to the right, depending again on the sign of A. I wrote those backwards. Let me group them to where it makes sense together. All right? You're going to be able to, you're going to have to know those formulas and you're going to have to know how to use them and when to use them. Is that all that's on the test? No. Okay. We also said when you switch around these two parabolas, when your x and your y's are turned around, then the coordinates of the vertex were also turned around, right? Okay? And we, I, I told you an easy way to remember is if this is an x inside here, then it's the x coordinate that's inside with it and the y coordinates on the outside. If y is inside the parentheses, then this is the y coordinate that's paired up with it. And the x coordinate is on the outside. Yes. And that's what I was about to point out. Okay. Because I'm flipping. Yesterday we also said when you're looking for the focus of a parabola. And again, is the focus an actual point on the graph? Yeah. Yes. On the parabola itself? No. No, I said that wrong. Okay. It is not on the parabola itself. It's a guide, okay? It's a guide that we use to help us find more points on the parabola. And, and then specifically, the focus is the midpoint of the LR. The LR is a line segment that sits across the axis of symmetry equally on both sides and helps us to identify two more points. Yes? What do you know when you... Add the focus formula to x or y. How do you know whether to add it to x or y? Very simple. In this case, we would change y. In this case, we would change the x. Okay? <coughs> Very simple. All right. Now. This is the new stuff that's going to be on our test Friday. Our test Friday is going to be difficult, I'm telling you now. Do not wait till Thursday to start working problems and getting prepared. We need to start tonight. Working problems from section 8, 1, 8, 2, and 8, 3. You need to just continue working problems from all three sections every night of the week. Yes, there are bonus quizzes online. Okay, today we're going to take circles, section 8.3. Now, 
Make sure when you're heading up your notes that you have the date on the top and the section number so that when you come in and I say pass up your notes for March 17th, you can find them. For your binder check. Okay, there are three things that we're going to need to know how to use. We have to know how to use the midpoint, the distance formula, and how to complete the square. Tomorrow we're going to deal with completing the square to put the formula like it needs to be or the equation in the form it needs to be. But today we need to know how to use the midpoint and when to use it. So let's talk about circles and what, what's in a circle. The first thing that we have in a circle, and the way all circles are identified, is their center. Do you remember with a parabola we had H and K, which stood for the coordinates of the vertex? Well, in a circle we still have H and K, but this time they are the coordinates of the center. All right? <laughs> where H represents the X coordinate and K represents the Y coordinate of the center of your circle. Something else that you have in a circle is a radius. The radius of a circle is the line segment that goes from the center to the outside edge. Now there is not just one <coughs> radius in a circle. There are an unlimited number of radii in a circle. And every single one of them has the same measure. Because the center is the middle. All right? And no matter where you start outside the circle, when you get to the middle, you're at the middle. And then another thing that we have is a diameter which goes through the center of the circle. So what is the diameter made up of? Two radiuses, or two radii, okay? So the relationship between a diameter and a radius is that the diameter is twice as long as the radius, or the radius is half as long as the diameter, okay? Now we're gonna do things like this today. We are gonna be given the coordinates of the diameter. Where does it start and where does it stop? And we're going to be asked to find the center. Well, isn't the center right in the middle of it? So if you're asked to find the center, you're going to use the midpoint formula because you're looking for the middle of two points. You may be given the coordinates for the end point of a radius. The radius starts here, stops there. And you're asked to find out how long it is. Now what are you going to use? Distance. The distance formula. Okay, because it's going to tell you an actual length between those two points. All right, now this is not the equation of a circle, but, I'll, but I'm one more step and we'll get it. But I want you to see where it comes from. The radius is identified as the distance from the center to the outside edge. We'll call this point x, y. Okay? So if the radius is the distance between two points, what is this? What's the distance?